We're gonna go ahead here and show you how to test a float switch for continuity here. Locate the color of the wires coming out of the switch and then follow up to the connector. The float is all the way down, which would simulate an empty tank. And one thing I recommend, we've already went ahead and zeroed our meter. So an empty position, we have 220 yes. ohms. Go ahead and go to full. And then let it pause around 23, almost 24 ohms. And now yep. sweep it slow. And what I mean by that is you're just going to go ahead and just pull it back down and you're going to see the numbers gradually increase. If you got like a huge spike or a zero in there, that would mean there's a bad spot in the float switch and that could be why your gauge is acting goofy. Yeah, absolutely. All right, that's how you test a float switch. I hope you found this video useful. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, would you please do so? Also hit that notification button so you'll know about all our future videos. As I always say, keep wrenching and make it a great day.